moving on domain 2 task 9 integrate project planning activities this is all about bringing together multiple processes and activities that are directly linked to the planning process groups so this task guys this is the biggest task of all the other tasks that we have seen let it be in domain 1 domain 2 domain 3 of all the tasks this activity is biggest in my opinion because as you see this is directly linked to the project planning phase so if you look at the pimbo guide 6th edition in which processes do you think uh, the planning is involved so it's involved in every knowledge area all 10 knowledge areas have something to plan so if you want to be precise there are like 24 different tasks that are just related to planning so this planning is important for the other tasks to happen right so without a plan if you are doing something that just goes into waste so there are 24 different planning tasks that we have to do before we actually start with the project you know cost planning delivery planning you know risk planning all these plannings they have to be done before we start any work so not just planning these things but we also have to find a way to integrate them and this task is all about that integration so we have to find a way to integrate all these 24 tasks as i said every knowledge area is going to have a planning process so it's a huge subject to cover so starting from the first knowledge area from developing the project management plan that is the first task that you will see in the pinbog guide uh, to the very last task that is the planning the stakeholder management right so starting from the first to the last 24th task this integration comes quite handy so we have to consolidate all this planning which is very very important because only after this planning all the other tasks will actually start so as i said biggest work in the project manager's role in my opinion so let's see what pmi is expecting us to do here so in the task 9 we have to consolidate the project or phase plans the plans that are done at the project stage and the phase stage we have to assess consolidated project plans for the dependencies when we have consolidated or integrated all these plans we have to assess them and then we have to analyze the data collected and then we have to collect and analyze the data to make informed decisions we have to determine the critical information requirements so as i've mentioned here you have to read all the planning processes uh, from the pimbo guide 6 and then uh, the other things that you have to learn is mentioned here you have a look at it please make use of this and then uh, here there are some example questions uh, just read them you know to get to get a feel about how the questions might come in this task all right moving on domain 2 task 10 manage project changes as we all know changes are inevitable we cannot stop the change some changes can be you know just temporary changes like you know like deviations from our original plan and some changes are quite permanent changes so when you you, you have a drawing of a mechanical product and then the manufacturer says the product cannot be manufactured in this way so they will change the drawing permanently right so, so such permanent changes are also there temporary changes are there so you know take the example of changes on a budget so at the start of the project to end of the project there are many changes that happen in the budget the budget might increase the budget might decrease right so the scope of the project might be decreased the customer may call at uh, the future point of time and then they, he can say that you know the scope of the project deliverables have reduced so all these changes uh, we have to be managing so and also we have to understand why a change is going to happen and uh, how we have to handle it so what is expected of us from the pmi is that we have to anticipate and embrace the need for a change like for example we have to follow the change management practices so all these changes that i mentioned we have to record it in a systematic way we have to get the approval from different stakeholders that a change has happened and do you consent with this or not and then only after the approval we have to implement this change so this is also a change management practice that is followed in all the reputed organizations and uh, we have to determine the strategy to handle this change we have to execute the change management strategy according to the method and then uh, we have to determine a change response to move the project forward so again we have a key areas that you should focus while you are learning this task and uh, here we have uh, some example questions 
moving on domain 2 task 11 plan and manage procurement this is something quite interesting to me at least this is actually directly linked to the project procurement management again before we move to the explanation as you can see here the project procurement management is a knowledge area in pimbo guide 6 edition so this task is all about that knowledge area so you must follow everything that's mentioned here in the 6th edition so what happens here is that as a project manager you have to support in planning the procurement process you actually have to also conduct the procurement process and uh, you have to control gives some suggestions to control the project procurement so multiple strategies are there uh, like for example uh, sometimes the project has to import some raw materials from you know out of the country that the organization is operating because it's cheaper outside of that country so uh, sometimes the manufacturer within that home country uh, might be charging more uh, than some other country so in this case uh, the procurement is also done abroad right so such interesting strategies are available so for this uh, to be happening effectively we we as project managers we have to deal very closely with the procurement team who uh, you know actually manages the overall activities of procurement so what happens here uh, in expected from expectations from pmi is that we have to define the resource requirements and needs we have to communicate the resource requirements to all the stakeholders when i said stakeholders it also involves the vendors here we have to manage the suppliers or the supply contracts so the suppliers have specific contracts right so they have the contracts are like we have an agreement that uh, the vendor has to supply the products for a stipulated time right so they are not forever they are usually for one year contract or two year contract something like this we have to plan and manage the procurement strategy as i said whether we have to import it whether we have to get it locally or whether we have to follow an alternate process uh, for this product all these strategies come in this strategy part and then we have to develop a delivery solution also so how if in case we are importing the parts how these parts are delivered so if they are shipped on a sea route right so the uh, packaging has to be special so all these things uh, we have to support in this task here we have again some key points that you can notice uh, to learn this task and then some example questions that you see on the screen okay moving on what do we have here domain 2 task 12 manage project artifacts 